Yeah. Golden State Warriors star, <laughs> Steph Curry. Definitely. He says, I'm a wall figure. I'm from middle America. Yes, yeah, so, so am I, actually. He says, uh, this is Steph Curry. He says he doesn't want to go to the White House to celebrate the NBA title. Uh, Curry, here's the quote. Somebody asked me about a couple of months ago, like a hypothetical, if the championship were to happen, would I do it? And I think I answered, I wouldn't go. I still feel like that today. So he says, basically, he's not going. And your reaction to that, please? Stuart, we've been talking about it on this show every week when I come on. Yep. This is a San Francisco, Silicon Valley-based basketball team. Steph Curry is part of that culture that instead of engaging with people we disagree with, we want to eliminate people we disagree with. America has never been about that. That's not a healthy strategy. If Steph Curry and members of the Golden State Warriors have strong disagreements with President Trump, they should go engage him in debate and discussion and make their disagreements known to him and give him an opportunity to react. This well, whole thing of resist, and we're not going to deal with this person, and we're going to ignore this person. It's unhealthy. It's un-American. It's really cowardly. Well, and I sir. like Steph Curry a lot, but he's a young person being led astray by social media and people in this country that just want to overthrow everything. You know, I used to offer sports commentary. I wasn't very good at it. Then you came along, and you're great. You know, Whitlock, you can, uh, there's a future for you, lad. There really is. <laughs> and we will see you next week. Thank you, Stuart. <laughs> Thank you, sir.